Guys, gals, ladies, men, hobbits. It's me, Little Wiggo. I just got back from LA where I had a, a, a bit part. Um, I played this theater teacher <laughs> called Mr. Bladelock or something like that. And I made sure that these freaking three lines were the best freaking three lines that have ever been acted. My first line, I, I said, uh, silence! I yelled it real loud. Silence! Then I had to walk a mile to a mile and a half down the auditorium aisle, and I and I and I say, You got a lot of death coming out here, Mr. Pentagast! Coming back here, Pentagast! I said it like that, but good. I put my heart, my soul, into this role. I also completely missed my mark. <laughs> We've been experimenting. We hired a, uh, a freelance baker. If we move the soda parlor to come up with like a waffle dinghy kind of thing. So we've been, we've been uh, testing out like a butterscotch waffle, a brownie waffle, like a cinnamon bun waffle. We did a fan appreciation night a couple days ago. So fun. So freaking fun. It's so freaking fun. It's it's like, it's the reason why I started the soda parlor. So when I get to do those, it's, oh man, it's just so fun. Get to play games, getting to hang out, getting to freaking goof off. It's awesome. It's awesome. I want more of this. I need more of this. We just got done shooting the spring collection today. I think I love the photo shoots the most. Um, because we always like, pretty much just make fun of each other. <laughs> Bell's palsy is gonna be immortalized. <laughs> when I was in LA, um, I went to New Form Digital's office. And Jody over there, who's amazing, gosh, I love Jody. She asked me a question, um, what do you want to do? And for a split second, I thought about going with the thing that I've wanted for years, which was direct films. But I said, have fun. And I think that's why recently I've been feeling happier, you know? Because that dream has stressed me out so much. And it is, it, it, it's made me almost like a little bit miserable. Because it's like you want it so bad. You know, you just, you want it. You daydream about it. It's the only thing that you think about when you wake up and then go to bed. And I still want it, right? But I think I've, I've accepted the fact that if it doesn't happen, I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm still gonna friggin' actively try to make that thing happen, but I'm realizing that for the longest time I've had this tunnel vision, right? And I've ignored all these other things that could make me just as happy and just as fulfilled. And so the, for, the, for the first time, I'm like, you know what? Let's put the blinders down, you know? Let's bowl without the guards, and whatever happens, happens. And I think a big factor to this was actually the cartoon, Final Space. Because I've had so much fun getting to see this thing made. A kid, kid me would never have believed that I would have gotten to voice a cartoon and write it and stuff like that. I would just, it's, it, I would have never have believed it. But also like doing the soda parlor. Like if I do that for the rest of my life, I'm okay with it. As long as I think I'm finding things that are, that are fun that makes me happy and that's keeping me just as fulfilled. What's wrong with that, you know? I'm, I'm always gonna wanna make films. I could work at Taco Bell and make films and just be happy because I'm still making films, you know? Like, as long as I'm making films, who cares where they go, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't really care if it goes into a movie theater. Yeah, that's great, but it's just the act of doing it. You know, it's fun. Let me get real close. If I had to give you any advice, I would say, 
if you have that one dream, okay, and it's a hard friggin' dream to get to, maybe just put the blinders down, okay? Just so you can experience something that could be relatively close to that, and you might actually freaking enjoy that more than the thing that you've been trying to go for, you know? And you actually might be better at that. But I think, for some odd reason, we have it in our minds that you're only allowed to freaking have, like, one dream? Forget that noise, right? Have 10! Have 20! You're allowed to be greedy, I think, when it comes to that. You can dream as much. Yeah, yes! Have 20 dreams! You're allowed to be greedy, okay? Be greedy with that. Honestly, and I mean this honestly, I would not say this if I didn't honestly feel happier because I've done this, you know? I don't know. Good talk, guys. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> I'm talking to a camera, but that camera represents you. And we're having a one-on-one -on, -one on my bed. Bed talk. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Just like all of us on a giant bed eating Cheez-Its and like just gapping. <laughs> like the parents come in the door. We, we hire a parent, right? Comes in the door. What? Better be quiet. Quick, last thing. Final space, April 5th. I'm 98% sure. New Form Digital, which I'm a part of their Incubator 3 thing. They gave me a budget. I gave that entire budget to the animation team at Studio Joho, which they're tight. They actually had to pay me something. So they sent me a check for a dollar. I haven't cashed it yet. I'm probably gonna frame it because this is the evidence that I'm a paid creator. This was actually an opportunity that was not offered to me. It was an opportunity that I hunted down. I did Oscars Hotel, and I was like, this is tight. You know, nobody else is doing this. I want to pitch them something. I want to be a part of this. And any of you guys that know me, I've never done or taken any kind of sponsorship, done a sponsored video on an ear. I'm not talking about any, like, products that, you know, I think that I like, but no, it's just me. You, it's just me. If it's an opportunity that's me, I'm down. So they, what they're doing right now, is they're taking it and they're trying to get it sold for a series. And I've always been a person that if you're upfront and you're honest with your audience, that they'll always support you. And I respect you guys enough to tell you that there's a chance this, this could be up for purchase, you know? Um, it could be on an app. It could be on another website. I have no idea where it's gonna live, okay? If it, and if it is a thing that, you know, you need to purchase it, dude, I'm doing something for you guys, okay? If it's another eat a slice, a summer night, a movie night, maybe I knew I know they do a lot of tours and stuff for the shows and stuff. Maybe I do like a tour for Final Space. I know that they would love to do that, but not one creator has gone on their tour. I will go on the tour. We will have freaking fun. I want to make this thing worth it, you know. And I should also mention, I'm pitching them another cartoon, and. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look, okay, seriously. Can I show you some concept art I got made? If it's anything, it's New Form's fault, okay? Because look, I went to their office and they asked me, hey, you got any more ideas? It could have been an offhand thing. Like, oh, hey, you got any more ideas? You know, it could have been a joke. I was like, dude, I'm on it. I'm hunting this thing. I'm getting another opportunity. Let's do this. It's something you didn't know you wanted, but now you definitely do want.